So they found Derek Chauvin guilty for whatever reason they figured out. Or maybe it was because they were threatened by a United States Congresswoman. Anyways, there's probably going to be an appeal for that trial because Maxine Waters just couldn't hold her lips together. But we're not here to talk about that. A day before the verdict came out, a guy named Andrew Thomas decided to go say hello to some National Guard members who were protecting a block. You know, because if y'all didn't get your way on the trial, y'all were gonna pretty much fuck off the entire city. But no, this guy Andrew Thomas is not gonna have it. He's not gonna have the National Guard out there. How dare somebody try to stop him from getting some tampons for his wife at Target. So he goes over there with his nine millimeter and he shoots through the glass of their truck with four National Guard members in the truck. That is an act of domestic terrorism. And it's starting to really piss me the fuck off. People don't care about America. Oh, is robbing a Foot Locker more important to you than respecting our fucking military on the side of the road that's there? Because you fuckers last summer couldn't just be like, okay, let's wait until they go through the trial and figure that out, and then we'll decide if we're going to riot. No, you just did it all last summer too. That's why they're there. It's because of you. And in your dumb head, you justify it. Oh, it's for George Floyd. Yeah? How much of the shit that y'all stole is gonna get to George Floyd? Are y'all gonna put everything on his grave? I am sick and tired. Look at the damn stats of how many people are killed every year by police. You think I'm out in the street protesting when a white person gets shot by cops? No, he's probably a fucking meth head who's a dumbass. Oh yeah, you're really upset about Dante, right? Well, guess what? There was the same situation with a white guy where he dropped drugs on the floor. He tried to put his foot over it. Oh, but you didn't see riots for that. No, because he was being a dumbass. If you haven't noticed yet, the right side of America doesn't give a fuck about your issues. And y'all don't give a fuck about what we think our issues are. But if you think we're stupid enough to believe that all this rioting and looting and all this other shit that y'all do is for justice? You have us pegged to some fucking idiots, and I'll tell you one thing, we are not. I may be a fucking redneck or the chief of the rednecks as Grandmaster Jay has said, but I tell you what, I'm not stupid enough to go out and break the law and destroy a whole bunch of shit when a white person fucks up and gets shot. Now some of you watching this who don't usually follow me are gonna be like, oh my god, he's so mean and he doesn't care about our issues. Fuck yeah, I don't. You see, over the past year, I've tried to be really nice. I've tried to explain things in a logical manner to people. I've tried to explain the reasons why some people may not agree with what you think and that we can all chill out and have our difference of opinion. But when you go and shoot up a car full of National Guard members, you're gonna see the fucking American come out in me and probably half the fucking country. Good job, Maxine Waters. Is that what you meant by more confrontational? Shoot up some National Guard members? I don't know, is that what you meant? I'm sure you're not losing sleep over it. I'm sure Nancy Pelosi isn't losing sleep over it. Now here's the ridiculous part. Washington DC is still expecting riots after there was a guilty verdict on all charges for Derek Chauvin. And the National Guard is pissed off, you know why? Because some dude just shot up a truck full of National Guard members in Minneapolis like we just talked about. And you know what they're doing to the National Guard in DC? They're sending them out without guns, without weapons. They are literally sending them out with reflective vests on. That's it. Oh good, so now we're using the National Guard to fucking babysit people who are stealing shit. Is that what we're doing? That's not America. Now go on, rob and loot, do whatever you need to do. And I'll still be out here with half of America earning a living the right way.